family. My name is Vicki Dillard, and I'm pleased to be a contributor here on African Diaspora News Channel. Please, as you come in, be sure to give us a thumbs up, thumbs up, like and share this video. Thank you so very much. Family, this is an interesting story. Now, I'm reading to you from igambia.org, and this is titled Uproar as South Africa's ruling party swears Chinese immigrant into parliament. Family. It says the appointment of swearing in of Chinese immigrant, our name is spelled um, X-I-A-M-O-E-I, -I, I don't want to misspell it, but I'm just going to call her X Havard, H-A-V-A-R, last name, Miss Havard, by the ruling African National Congress, ANC, has so far sparked outrage among many South Africans with the hashtag um, no Chinese in South African parliament trending on Twitter in South Africa. The widespread movement objecting her appointment has been joined by top officials um, like the president, representatives of the African transformation movement, the ATM, and South African parliament who asked the following question on Twitter. If a black person born in China can never be a member of the Chinese parliament, why does South Africa allow a Chinese born person to be a member of the South African parliament and make laws for South Africa. I think that that's a very legitimate point is that if you can't go there and do it, why are Africans doing it uh, in South Africa? Now, this issue is we know black folks, we're the most loving, most accepting people on the planet. Nobody can accuse us of being haters and all of that. Not truly. We know that's a fake and a fraud. We've endured more hell, more oppression, more disrespect than any other group. But the issue here is that South Africa has not even been restored from before. South Africa is still reeling even from the times uh, of Mandela. They wanted the fact that they allowed a black face to ascend to the highest place of government. They thought that that was just going to wash out all of the years of white supremacy and racism in South Africa, and it does not. We still are dealing with minority folk who are trying to take land in, in Africa. The oppressor has the nerve to be trying to take land and still fight for compensation with some of you in South Africa sympathetic. And some of you are not, of course, we know that. But I was really struck by this because you have to be strong enough in government, in, in, in economics, in education, in your family, in religion, in media and arts and entertainment and all of those areas of people activity, whether it's military, pharmaceutical, medical industry, you have to be strong first and dominating properly in those areas before we're just going to let other people just come in and start ruling over us. Make that make sense. And it seems to be a similar pattern that we're having here in America with foundational black Americans descendants of American slaves here, where we try to take on all of these different intersectional issues. We're trying to be advocates and superhero and superwoman and Wonder, uh, Wonder Woman and Spider-Man for everybody else. And we, after 466 years of oppression, not only have we not been repaired, not only has there been no restitution and no uh, uh, um, reparations, but we're still dealing with forms of oppression. America has not ceased nor desisted her oppression of us, but yet we out there advocating for illegal immigrants busted into the country. We out here talking about the horrible detention facilities that illegal immigrants are in, but we don't see that type of press conference in prisons where you find disproportionate numbers of black folk in. We're worried about the separation of families that broke federal law and the destruction that it's having on their families, but we're still not dealing with the fallout of the destruction of the of black families from modern Jim Crow and this prison industrial complex. Make it make sense. Y'all want us out here advocating for LGBTQ. You want us advocating for illegal immigrants. You want us out here advocating for the Democratic Party, the Republican Party. We ain't got time for all of that. When you compare the problems of these other different groups and they do have their own issues, but it's the black community is dealing with social, economic, and political heart attacks and strokes. Y'all want us to ignore the heart attacks and strokes so that we can look at your paper cuts. Make it make sense. And the problem is we've, obl we've obliged that.
And then somehow we've allowed members of the dominant society and other outside groups successfully make us feel guilty when we advocate for the benefit of black people. They turn around and say that you're the hater and you're the racist. You know that's a trick and that's impossible. Somebody put in the chat hashtag 466. 466 years is the difference. We didn't destroy a people for 466 years like we've been destroyed. We didn't redline anybody. We didn't gerrymand anybody. We didn't set nobody on fire. We didn't put the lash and the whip to anybody. We didn't lynch anybody. We didn't destroy their cities and towns. We didn't nefariously poison their waters, air, and food. We didn't create laws that discriminate against you. We're not denying you loans that you legitimately deserve. None of that stuff you can put on black people. So I'm just wanting to know what's going on over there in South Africa. You've got to be strong enough and ruling properly first before we start doing all of this outside. What's I mean, what's going on? We got to cut out this global shucking and jiving. Somebody talk black to me. Again, my name is Vicky Diller. Be sure to join me uh, uh, on a regular basis here on African Diaphora diaspora news channel like share subscribe also dear family i've got an upcoming amazing two hour mastermind webinar women only i'm going to be discussing the secret money hidden in your womb many of us didn't know this but within the woman's womb lies the secrets of the universe we not only make human beings we can make businesses favorable opportunities and money you don't want to miss these secrets. Two hours, February 13th, 2 p.m. Eastern. Please, 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 please uh, go to my Instagram page, Vicky X Dillard, for more information. Go to Vicky X Dillard for my post for more information on the secret money hidden in your womb. Thank you so very much.